Hello my friends and welcome to the Unreal channel where we are bringing common sense back to YouTube. I have a great episode of Choosing Beggars just for you guys. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and like the video for many years of good luck. Looking for a small dog, nothing big. Don't have money to pay for one as I need to get shots and meds. Check animal control and adopt one for like $150. Neutering and shots included. And also consider not taking on the ongoing financial responsibility of an animal who depends on you if you can't even afford the basic medical needs. You know what, this reminds me of that expression that dog is just not for Christmas. Because let's face it, this choosing beggars wants a dog, can't afford one, doesn't really care about the welfare of the animal, just cares about its own selfish needs at that time. And I'm happy this person posted that comment, I mean I wish he didn't say where for this guy to go, because no, my luck, this guy will probably actually will actually have $150, which will probably borrow from someone else, and then this dog will be on the streets within two weeks because the guy couldn't cope with it. You don't understand why they won't give you access for something they pay for for their own personal use. I don't understand why people do not like sharing their Netflix password. It's not like you're paying per watch. Well, that is a very simple answer. And I think most people would agree with me on this answer. It's because why should we pay for you to use something? And let's face it, you're not gonna pay for us to do anything. And we're not some sort of shared society. I might share my password with people who live with me inside there, and then they pay for another service, but why would I pay for you? You don't do anything for me. Simple as that. Now this one is a review for the new Godzilla 2 film. Um, it's only had one one star review as you can see from this. And I love the reason. Make it free. Make it free. So, person who naturally name has been blanked out. How does the um, industry make any money off it? Are you going to give them some exposure bucks? This next one is for a dating app which has been reviewed and it goes a bit like this. Why would I need to pay for something I downloaded a free app for? And it pretty much says about upgrading to gold to see people who liked you. And it's very, very simple because if people don't do this for free apps, then the free apps can't exist. That is it inside a nutshell. And I can see why this person is probably single because he'll be like, like the kind of person going, wait a minute, I walked into this Burger King for free. I have to pay for burgers. That is the kind of mentality of these people. I really do think so. Anyway, guys, what do you think of this one? Do you guys think that might be the reason why he's single? Let me know. Just a general comment here and nothing personal. If you want to donate slash give away free stuff, at least don't make them look rubbish that you don't bother getting rid of. It's disrespectful and selfish, which is the opposite of giving. Well, that's why it's free. People just want it gone. If they were going to actually, you know, uh, spend time on making it look presentable and cleaning it up, then they'll probably would sell it instead of donating it or giving it for free. So stop being so ungrateful and shut up. What do you guys think? Free bricks, you must pull down. Single flume coming out of roof, then double under roof line. Must be pulled down and hauled off this weekend, June 8th to the 9th. Must know what you're doing and have a proper PPE. I love these posters because they're always the same. Haul off this, destroy that, but you keep the crap which is left over. So isn't that payment enough? Huh. And I love how they give like, a time restraint. Like, it must be done by the weekend. You have one week. There is no excuses and that kind of stuff. So these people are absolutely amazing. Oh, have you guys ever seen this inside your area? Has someone ever posted this inside their, like your local Facebook group? Oh, I'd love to know. All right, guys, that is your fair share of choosing bags for today. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Subscribe and like and share with your friends. That'd be fantastic. And uh, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.